If you don't know, Shady Maple Smorgasbord in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania is the biggest buffet in the country, both in size and in customer served. It is also a favorite of my family, so I thought it'd be fun to present this challenge to them this summer. Can we eat all the dishes at Shady Maple? I got a pretty quick challenge accepted response, and so we're going to see how we did in this video, and here are our ratings on every single thing we ate. Okay, up first we have Noah, our first contestant. Now, what have you eaten so far? Had a burger. I'll give it an eight. Eight. Bag and cheese, a ten. Different bag and cheese. Fries, nine. Let okay. me try this quick. Okay. Spicy chicken tender, seven. Okay, thank you. All right, Seth, you had some different stuff here. Not really. You had big beans, though. I had barbecue beans. They were agree? good, not just like a seven. They're not the best, but they're still good. Would you agree at Noah's representation of mac and cheese? Oh, yeah, that's a ten. Ten. Yeah. And that's a barbecue wing as well. Yes. well that's, that's a little different. That's a barbecue. You had spicy chicken, you had barbecue. It's a barbecue wing. Let's go ahead and taste it. <laughs> I'll give that an eight. Eight, alrighty. Yeah. Alright, Dan, you're eating butter noodles. You can tell me in a while. Are they, or the roast beef. Mashed potatoes are probably seven. Seven. Roast beef's probably nine. Okay. Butter noodles are probably seven, also. Alright. I've had better butter noodles. Better butter noodles. Alright, I'll stop for now. Okay, Nathan, actually, what do you think of the mac and cheese? A one to ten. Ten. Doesn't even need to answer see, the question. Nathan's having a very big sample of mac and cheese. <laughs> All right, I'll get the rest of you in a minute. All right. They don't do that. They don't believe it. Are you ready? Yes. Crab cake. There's a lot of good crab cakes in Pennsylvania. This is not my favorite. It's too fried on the outside, too mushy on the inside. I would give it like a five. The cod, the baked cod was good. Seven. The fry shrimp was like a nine. This croquette thing, I'm not a fan of that. Five. It's too. It's, I don't know, it's too dry, too mushy. The pro I never ever had a pierogi before. I didn't know it was in it. I thought it was pasta, but it's actually mashed potatoes inside. I don't like that either. Yeah, I got one too. Like a four? One more thing, one more thing. But the winner of this plate is the filling. It's good. It's a little wet, but it's good. Very good flavor. All right, so that's round two. All right, yeah, the chicken Perfect. softball looking thing was not very good. <laughs> the crab cake was also not very good. The strip steak was good, pretty good. I mean, that's like it just what? tastes like a steak. Seven, I'd, eight. Yeah, I'd give it a seven, seven and a half, something okay. like that. The barbecue pork was pretty good, though. That's probably like an eight. Okay. Yeah, it just tastes like pulled pork, so. Okay, thank you. Anything else new you've had? Um, handball is pretty good. I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay. Pierogi, I didn't really like. Yeah. A regular chicken tender, it's pretty good. Nice. Give it like a. Seven and a half. Okay. The butter noodles are eh, seven. Seven. Okay. Anything new, Nathan? Sushi. Sushi. What's the sushi? Ten. Ten. <laughs> All right. Something new I've never tried here is scallop Alfredo. So Dan and I both had this, and the big chunks of scallops are good, but the little ones are not. And I'm not a huge fan of the actual soupy part. It's okay. I would say six. Uh, this corn casserole is really good. I would say an eight. The marinated chicken, I got a dry piece, so like seven. But this breaded cauliflower is really good. It doesn't taste like cauliflower. It's like a soft french fry. Okay, the winners of this plate are sweet potato casserole, which I love. It's almost like a southern dish, but has like brown sugar, cream, Nuts in it, really good. Like, I would say this is a nine, nine and a half. And then the handball, I don't usually like here, but for some reason tonight it's really good. Yeah, the I don't think they changed their good. sauce yet. I think they might have changed their sauce. So, this is like, I was gonna say a 10. My first 10. Okay, Dad, what'd you eat so far? What'd you think? Dry corn, give it a 10. Dry corn, a 10. Mashed potatoes, eight. Eight. Veggie au gratin, seven. Potatoes au gratin, seven. No, veggie au gratin. Veggie au gratin. I'm glad you knew that. <laughs> Rachel, what do you think, Boomer? What do you think? Um, mac and cheese and stewed tomatoes. Ten. Nice. 
mashed potatoes. Uh, six. <laughs> Um, the handball is probably like a nine. Really? What is this called? Croquette. I got the chicken. Yeah, chicken. chicken. It's probably like a nine. Okay. But at the same time, I never had it anywhere else, so I don't know how it tastes <laughs> anywhere else, but it tastes pretty good. Yeah. Hey, Mom. I like the veggie or gratin. I gave it at least an eight. Veggie or gratin, an eight? Mashed potatoes on. I'll probably have it. It's good. Yeah. Butter noodles are okay, but they're real cold. Oh. The corn was really good. Dry corn? Yeah. Wait. Oh. Okay. You're at my desk. Oh, oh, sorry, Sam. <laughs> I didn't know you were back. Anybody that sits here has to take the pill. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we've actually had, between all ten of us, the fat time is everything. Now, we're not counting the salad bar because that's something you get everywhere. So we are trying some stuff on the end of it. But, uh, so we gotta go have the vegetables. That's the one thing we have not eaten as a family are these specific vegetables up here. Not these. We're getting there. Um, okay, also, <laughs> there's some soups here. We have beef, barley, and we have that chili. No one's had that yet, I don't think. But the vegetables are right here. So we gotta have this stuff. So exciting. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try carrots, because I can't carrots. I'm not a big fan of broccoli. Okay, this is gonna be where it gets difficult. A okay. piece. I'll do broccoli. Oh good, so Dan's your Brussels sprouts. That's plenty. And then, oh man, this might be the hardest one. Cabbage, really? Dan's in the cabbage. I think we've gotten everything else. Pretty sure. You did the mushroom or the cauliflower? I did that one, yeah. We'll do a run through later, but I think we got everything. So we got these lovely vegetables to eat. <laughs> Hooray. All right, tell us about the cabbage and the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Cabbage, I'd actually probably give about a six. Really? So Brussels, it's seasoned? Yeah, it's, it's like... Yeah. Okay. It looks like it's seasoned and like kind of marinated. Yeah, that it is. Awesome. It's, it's awesome. like buttered and I might seasoned. Take a, I might take a taste of it. Yeah. The Brussels sprouts, I'd probably give one. One on Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Carrots are probably a three. And oh, the really? broccoli was a two. Oh, wow. So, so far the vegetables are losing. <laughs> So first I had a chocolate cake with peanut butter icing, solid 9 to 10. And then I had my hunt wings, which were pretty good, about an 8, maybe 9. I had a bite of this cookie, but I can already <laughs> tell it's a 10. And I had a spoonful of the whipped topping. And this is about a nine or a ten. All right, I got the Mediterranean breaded salmon. It uh tastes like fish. The breading's just breading, so I mean it's okay. Probably like a six or something out of ten. And then this is cornbread, I think. That's crusty. <laughs> seven. Okay. Is it dry or is it moist? Well, this side's dry because I think it was on the. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, Dan, what did you have new? I think the red beets, I'd probably give the red beets. Uh, red beet eggs or red beets? Red beets. I'd give them about a nine. Red beet egg, like a seven. Cottage cheese, a six. Apple butter is really good, though. I'd give it a nine. Okay. And then this butter blend is very soft and salty. I like it. I'd give that a ten. Roll with it. Yeah. Roll was a ten. Alrighty, that's good to know. Would you get anything new? Oh, you have a sausage there? Yeah. This kielbasa? That's yeah, kielbasa. sure. That's actually pretty good. You have okay. like, like an eight. Eight? Yeah, I uh, forget what that one's called. Something chicken. Nice chicken gordon. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah, cut into it. Oh, wait. What the heck? Ham yeah. and cheese? Oh, oh yeah. Well, kielbasa. I only had the chicken part. Hold on. Yeah, okay, so um, all, that, all that goo. But the, um, the butter noodles, probably like a six. Okay. Uh, corn? Corn. Me. Six. Just your average corn. All right, we're trying chicken. Is this your first time trying chicken corn on blue? <laughs> 7.75. <laughs> right, Mom, what'd you get new? I got steamed shrimp. Um, I would like mine with a little hotter. Okay, yeah. Um, this, this is good. This is a sweet potato with cinnamon. Um, of course, mac and cheese. I thought that was pretty good. Except your dad put too much sauce on for me. Uh, and then I had the fried shrimp, and they were good. Okay. And what would you give the number for like these two things? Uh, I would get that a 
an eight. I just would like mine with more. Moderate. Yeah. And I, I think that's a ten. Okay. That's pretty good. And um, the fried shrimp, I think, were pretty much a ten. Yeah. Do you have here? Ambrose. Eight. Like? Fried butterfly shrimp. That was really, really good. Yeah, I had that too. And the ham. Really? The ham's good. Yeah. yeah. So what, an eight? Seven? Yeah, eight. Okay. Good and tender. Oh wait. Beef. beef was that was where the beef was. So obviously <laughs> that was very good. Like the shredded beef? It was, yeah, it was real yeah. good, real tender. Oh, okay. wow. So like, like a what, nine? No. Nine. One of the last things we're getting is chili. Not much. We're going to sign us out afterwards, so we can't have too much chili. <laughs> and we all got everything else here. Thank you. Okay. Everybody loves french fries here, by the way. All right, so this is what Rachel had lobster smoked. Cheddar. Right, that? Yeah. This is chicken, corn, and all. Get some of this. And then we're going to get some Italian bread. All right, I tasted my mom and dad's pork and sauerkraut with the rice. Actually, sauerkraut was delicious. The pork was too. I would say it was a nine. The rice was just a normal, you know, six. The chicken, fried chicken, it's a little dry. The actual crispiness is like a ten, but the inside is slightly dry. But I would still give this a nine. These are way too hard. They're not soft at all. And then I had chicken noodle soup. It was actually really good. It was like a, I would say it was a 10. Honestly, do you like it? I thought it was really good. It was okay. The it was flavor. Too thick. It was too thick for me. You mean like too much stuff? Yeah, too much okay. stuff. I thought it was delicious. The flavor was delicious. And that was all over Noah's table. And then chili. I mean, I like that too. What would you give it? I didn't Oh, I think it, honestly, nine. It was really good. Oh, it's beef barley. What about the Chinese It was good. Okay, yeah. talk about the beef barley first. <laughs> what do you think uh, of it? I think it's about eight. It's just, I think it's salty. Okay, so it was too salty? Yeah, it was too salty. And then what was the entire wedding soup like? Italian wedding soup was, was pretty good. Like, um, yeah. Rachel even liked it. Like, scale one to ten. I give it nine. Do you concur, Rachel? You don't have to. Eight. Okay. <laughs> okay, Cooper. Your turn to tell me what you ate. Food. Okay, I want to clarify a few things before we get to the final master list of all the foods ranked in order. So we did have three foods that we did eat. These were on the video. Um, they are ranked at the list, but I just want to tell you there were green beans, gravy, and mixed vegetables. And that is important because if we did not eat those, I could not say that we did indeed eat all the food in the buffet. Round of applause. So... That's technically not the same as what my original challenge was, though in my head, the original plan was to eat all the buffet items, all the hot food, and hopefully get to the grill items, because there's a lot of items on the grills. Uh, we did not have enough time. We had about an hour, 10, 15 minutes, and if you know Shea Maple, you know that's not enough time. So that's my excuse, my reason for us not getting to all the hot items. But we did eat every hot item on the buffet, so I feel like that's pretty much a win but also we ranked all the food so I think I feel like that's kind of a, a gift for all of us because it's nice to know what they offer but it's also nice to know how good it is so as I was creating these pages filled with all these rankings I was actually happily surprised because most of the time when we go to Shea Maple I kind of walk away from there feeling like it was good but not outstanding but according to these rankings there are a lot of nines and tens so I think that's worth noting. Um, now, of course, one person's nine could be someone else's three, but this is how we voted. I will say that there were 23 items that were ranked nine, nines or tens, and there were 14 items that were ranked eights. So that's a total of 37 items that were ranked eight or above, which is really, really good, I think. Um, I had about 10 sevens and nine sixes, um, which obviously is 19, which isn't awful. Um, and then the five or below, there's only five of those, so that's not too shabby for an entire buffet. Uh, but as you can see, that means that there are way more uh, eights, nines, and tens than there are seven and below. So that's a good, that's a really good sign for Shea Maple. So good job. Hand me that chicken noodle soup and the chili. Oh. <laughs> the it's, not, it's not your fault. It's <laughs> only my fault. The well, yep, yeah, so. <laughs> The chicken noodle soup, don't put it back on here. Cooper time. It was gotta review the saltines. Is the video on? Yes. Saltines. They're pretty good. Lightly salted. Not too flaky. A little they're on the medium side, so looking pretty good. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Sam's again. Cheese, queso, whatever the, those two soups were. A lot of salt, pepper, ice cream. Ice cream. Are you serious? And then there's there's three other mystery items that I don't know what they were. I just grabbed them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is what the children do. They make their own ingredients and their own items. Eight or nine. Okay. Did like mom have anything new over there? <laughs> Okay, you keep filming. You're like we're filming Mr. Bean. Okay, so as I wrap up this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to my family. They're always such good sports going on all my adventures with me in Lancaster, and it's always more fun when you're along with me. So thank you to my mom and dad, to my husband, to Nathan, Seth, and Cooper, my boys, and my niece and nephew, Noah and Rachel. So thank you guys. It was really fun. I know you're probably excited to go back and try another challenge if I know you very well. And then, of course, to my father-in-law, Sam, who's always along for the ride. So thanks, Sam, for coming. Thank you all for watching. If there's some food on here that you love and you either agree or disagree with the ratings, let me know in the comments. Or if there's some food on here you've never even heard of, um, let me know that too, because I think it's interesting sometimes people from the outside, like, who aren't used to Lancaster, see the food here. It's sometimes a fun surprise. Uh, and I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoy your next adventure.